So you got your scaling, your root planning, your deep cleaning, your general cleaning done from your general dentist or hygienist and you're completely satisfied with it. So you go back home and all of a sudden you feel this some sort of sensation like sensitivity on your teeth and you start to get worried. You're not, that's completely normal. Your teeth and your gums just went through a major cleaning. Just like after a nice warm hot bath or a shower your body just start to feel very sensitive to like a room temperature or just cold temperature in general and you gotta wait a little bit for your body to kind of like adapt back to that normal state where your room temperature is like you know normal and cozy and just like that your teeth and your gums go through the same adapting phase so hey guys my name is daily smile and i make videos regarding dental stuff and today we're going to be talking about what you shouldn't do after you get your scaling root planning deep cleaning or just dental cleaning in general. So after a dental treatment, there are some things that you should avoid to make your healing process much better. So you wanna avoid hot and cold food and drink. Just like if I were to go back to my analogy about you coming out of a warm shower or bath, how your body feels very sensitive to temperature, your teeth also feels very sensitive to these temperatures. So you want to avoid those to prevent you from having sensitivity on your teeth. There are other types like sugary food or spicy food or also like hard food, more like a chippy, like um, tortilla, Doritos, something very hard for you to bite down on your teeth. That will also cause your teeth to be very sensitive so the sensitivity usually goes away within two days but on first day just be careful and second day you may feel some sort of a sensitivity on your teeth but it won't be as much to the point that you'll be I guess um, it will bring you attention so which mean by second day you can pretty much drink and eat what you want like you normally do However, there are cases where the pain or sensitivity kind of proceeds over two days. So if that were to happen, you may want to maybe have an ice bag and put it on the area that is giving you that discomfort. And you might want to take some painkillers. Here's a note about painkillers. You want to avoid painkiller that is aspirin because aspirin have a tendency to affect the healing process. So you want to take painkillers that is like ibuprofen, Advil or Tylenol. Because you got your major cleaning done, you want to keep up with your oral hygiene to make sure your teeth and your gums are clean and no bacteria will come and hurt you. So you want to keep up with your brushing, flossing, and also rinsing. So when it comes to brushing, you want to avoid using toothpaste that has the word whitening or it contains baking soda or charcoal because these toothpaste have a tendency to increase the sensitivity on your teeth. So if you have these toothpaste at home, you might want to put that aside for a couple of days because it will increase your sensitivity and you don't want that happening to you. So instead, why don't you ask your dentist if they have any sample toothpaste that they can give you for you to use for a couple of days. Or if they don't have any sample toothpaste that they give you, I'm sure they do, then you can go out and buy uh, toothpaste like um, Crest Sensitive or Colgate Sensitive or everyone's favorite Sensodyne to use it for a time being until you're all healed up. Then one more thing about brushing is that while you're brushing and if you see blood don't freak out please because it's completely normal. Your teeth just got a major cleaning done and it just means that your teeth is healing. So don't brush too hard and be gentle but make sure to clean all the surfaces. But if you see some blood, that's completely fine. Okay, so keep brushing and make sure your teeth is clean. So if your floss has any whitening, effect then make sure to avoid those and use the typical floss that doesn't have any additional effect to them. When it comes to rinsing you want to avoid your typical mouthwash that you use at home like Listerine or Crest or whatever mouthwash you use on a daily basis. So instead of that you want to use a bit gentler mouthwash like salt water more specifically warm salt water. Usually after you get your scaling or root planning or deep cleaning done, your dentist or your hygienist will probably prescribe you a mouth rinse that you need to get at your drugstore, such as um, Peridex or Chlorhexidin rinse that you need to get at your local pharmacy for you to use at home. But if they don't prescribe you, I would definitely suggest you to use a warm salt water rinse for the time being until your tooth and your gums heals up because warm salt water is a very gentle rinse compared to your typical rinse so it will definitely help you not feel pain 
and these warm salt water rinse is very easy to make and they're very effective. All you need is about 4 ounces of water and then just put in 1 fourth of the teaspoon. So, and you just gargle it twice a day and you're good to go. Also, you want to avoid heavy training exercise because you are still healing in your mouth. Even though they heal very fast, you want to make the healing process very smooth. So for a day or two, I would definitely advise you to not train as hard. Alcohol and cigarettes should be avoided for a day or two. But if you are a typical smoker, I would always advise my patients to wait at least an hour before they can smoke because I understand that it is hard to quit even for a day. So if you are a typical smoker, please wait at least an hour before you can smoke. And I would like to emphasize that drinking and smoking does slow down the healing process therefore you should know that it should take longer time than a typical time frame for your mouth to kind of heal up so your teeth and your gums got a major makeover by a dentist or a hygienist so you want to keep those teeth and your gums healthy think of it as like a reset button for you to start or continue to brush and floss and rinse better so that you can keep these teeth and your gums healthy throughout your life but hope you learned something today as well and if you like the video please leave a like and sub and until next time peace